everyone. Welcome to another Spooky Appalachia. I'm your host, Jimmy. Um, this week, we have a fan-submitted story that was actually sent to us by the Mothman Museum. It's of a sighting someone had in Mattapan Square, Massachusetts. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. And it happened back in May of 2012. My girlfriend and I witness, witnessed an unexplained object or creature on the roof of a building in Mattapan Square back in May of 2012. We work for her dad's security company, and in May, we had the night shift at a construction site on Blue Hill Avenue. I had been sitting in her car, and we had just gotten into an argument. I decided to get in my own van to get away from her for a while. As I was surfing the web on my cell phone, I noticed something moving on the roof of the building next to the job site. I looked up and saw a fairly large shadowy figure walking or gliding along the rooftop. As I was peering out my window at it, it stopped and turned towards the cars. The best way I can describe it is that it looked almost identical to the sketch the teenagers drew after the first Mothman sighting in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. It had what looked like what looked to be large feathery wings and two almond golden eyes. I know that is not your typical Mothman description, but I don't know what else it could have been. After about three to five minutes of sitting there, it jumped off the roof, flying towards Quincy and Braintree. I watched it fly for about five minutes before it was out of sight. The, cre the object or creature flew in odd patterns, dipping and flying side to side, but not in a straight line. The only way I saw it was it was illuminated in a golden bright light. I couldn't tell if it was the moon's reflection or if it was generating its own light, but I only got a look at it in the dark. I hear stories of UFOs, Bigfoot, ghosts, and demons, and ask myself, can they all be real or maybe just some? I believe that we have only scratched the surface of reality and the truth is sometimes stranger than fiction. Wow, that's a that's a really cool story. Um, it is interesting. It, it sounds almost identical to the Mothman, but like he pointed out, um, or she, that uh, it had the almond golden colored eyes. Maybe it was something to do with the illumination that the uh, person who sent it in was talking about. Maybe it really had red eyes. It, it's it's hard to say. Maybe maybe its eye color changed, or maybe Mothman got uh, some contacts with the uh, you know the color eye color changing contacts. Uh, you never know. <laughs> um, this was definitely a really cool story. Um, big thanks to the Mothman Museum for letting us use this story. It was pretty wild. Um, what do you all think of it? Let me know in the comments what you think. You think it was Mothman? I mean, it sure sounds like it, but uh, I'll see what you all say. Um, remember, if you guys have had a paranormal sighting or an encounter, you can send those in to be featured on here. Uh, you can send it in using our Google form. The link's in the description below, or it's linked up on our link tree. You can also as you've seen in the ticker, probably email us at spookyappalachia at gmail.com. And um, I'd like to take a moment to thank our supporters. And uh, if you've thought about it, maybe you should jump on board too and support us on Patreon. Um, our Patreons are Adam, Alvin, Charles, Chris, Danielle, Donald, Jeff, Jordan, Julia, Linda, and Taylor. And then a special shout out to our content creator, 
Patreons. Um, Scott, who is an author, you can find his link in uh, the description in Werewolf Radar Podcast. Uh, be sure to check those guys out. They're hilarious. Uh, love them to death. Um, and yeah, and like I mentioned before, definitely consider supporting us on Patreon. And uh, thanks to everyone who's been listening so far.